Well, I don't represent no more. Let me move this back. I wonder what's in my personal mailbox today. Let's see. Hmm. Health shop never in high high hey, I stumbled on a video made by Lil Jog or whatever and read all the abuse he gets sent. And I told him I don't care what he's said in his videos. It hmm. is fucking disgusting. And I don't think it's disgusting because I'm on one of side of the argument for that I am a black sympathizer or whatever. I'll be honest, I don't care for what he's got to say. What I do find disgusting is something you picked up on in your video and it made me want to send you this message. You said whatever you say, they'll call you a nigger. And that's exactly what I see every single video that has a black man in it. Not just when he's preaching or whining or discussing race issues. I picked up on this watching boxing videos. I watch a lot of boxing. Mm. And that's fucked up. These guys are at leads. A.E. not saying anything. They're doing what they do. I scroll down the comments on a Mayweather video and all you see is nigga. 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 Coon. Monkey. Fucking nigga dot 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 dot. Okay, then. What about his boxing skills question mark dot dot dot. Kofi nigga. Arrogant nigga. Typical trash talking nigga. Why can't he be an arrogant man who happens to be black? Or a typical trash talking boxer who is typically black because black people dominate the sport. True. And that brings me to my next point. I am white. I fucking hate the fact that when mentioning black people or black people mentioning white people that were pretty much forced into explaining the life story. Oh, I am white and I love black people and I have seven black friends or vice versa before talking about flash critiquing someone of another race. Because there's so many fucking dumb basses who are gonna jump the gun and automatically take offense when nothing offensive has been said at all. I think that kind of bullshit ties into what you said about you being tired of making valid points because it gets thrown right back in your face. I've been called a nigga on YouTube. I made a comment about black people dominating the sport of boxing, which is an obvious fact. That's me stating a fact, but people can't look at it like that. I've either got to be a black militant bragging about his race, or some little left-wing pussy who wants to be black or some shit. Do you get what I am saying? Yes, like I, I do. I find this race <clears throat> disgusting, but people make me feel like if I say that I find it disgusting, I am kissing black ass. And that pisses me off because it's the worst kind of propaganda. And people on either side in the media don't help. The more I see it, the more I think the men in the suits want there to be this tension. And they make it work because I shouldn't have to feel awkward about talking sense. The worst thing about it, although, is the fact that on the internet slash YouTube you're anonymous, so you can say what you really want to say, no holding back. And what YouTube shows is that so many people really want to say nigga. No thought, no intellectual input, no theory or opinion, just abuse. I don't think these fucking idiots are all sat at home studying main camp for signing up to the KKK's website. And I don't think they hate black people. I think they say it simply because they're not allowed to say it in the real world. That's how an idiot's mind works and I think the white dominant media do a good job of exploiting that. And I could be wrong, but it seems obvious to me. Why? Because I can't defend black people without some people thinking I am kissing ass. On television you can't insult a black person without being accused of racism. And if you're a person that is easily manipulated, those two things make you come onto YouTube and anonymously call someone the nigga. There's never anything else to it. Hi, I don't know why I actually hate you, but fuck you you nigga so I'll just end this by saying, don't let it get you down. People don't think about what they say especially when they can say whatever they want without consequence. No normal person buys into any of it, and the internet is full of miserable frustrated nobodies. Hmm. I think that person had a damn good point. And it made a lot of good sense, too. You know, a lot of people just want to be stupid, I guess. And say whatever they want to say. And because they can, they do. And they get away with it. They don't know the consequences of if it hurts somebody or not. What if somebody goes postal based on a comment that you left on somebody's page? That would be sad. And you know, and especially if there's no premise for it, this person says they like boxing. Just because there's a lot of black guys in boxing, all of a sudden this person's a, 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 
nigger sympathizer. And it, it's pitiful that when you try to speak intelligently and have some sense in your head, they just look at you like you're some nigger anyway. And it's pitiful because not all of us are niggas. You know, I'm a man. I am a man, a human being. And that's not black, that's not green, that's not purple, that's not brown. That's human. Um, I, <laughs> I can't even pronounce the name of the person that uh, gave me this. But, um, you know, they took enough time to write this and put it in my personal messages, and I proved something. Not all white people, you know, hate black people. Not all white, black people hate white people. It's just those people who do hate are the ones that get noticed, seen. It's, ooh, it's cool to hate black people. Ooh, it's cool to hate white people. It's cool to do this, and you know. The popular thing should be peace. Not, you know, propaganda and scare tactics to make black people scared of white people and white people scared of black people. What has happened has happened. Shit is over with. But yeah. Do people still remember? Yeah. You're not going to be able to change things overnight. But to pretend as if nothing happened is one thing. But to isolate people and keep it brewing, that's another thing. And I don't see any reason why anybody should hate anybody. And if you do have a valid reason to hate somebody, go ahead and put a video out. Attach it to this video. But now I'm all about making money for everybody and fixing the economy. And that don't have any problem. That don't have any problem. Because there's enough brown, black, and white for all of us to earn some green. Thank you for this. Uh, you bite me again, man. Do, do, do it again. You can, you know, go, go for it. Now you want to cry. <laughs> oh well you get the picture there's enough people uh, there's enough good people in either direction for us not to have to to worry about this I mean if the mainstream media want to keep black people and white people separated fine the best way to stop that shit is not to fuck with the mainstream media no more that's the bottom line whenever you gotta watch a movie and all the drug dealers got to be white or the drug dealers got to be uh, black or whatever the case may be. All the prostitutes white, all the hookers are black, all the, you know, all the guys stealing are Mexican. Whenever shit like that, come on, we need to just erase that shit. Stop watching these shows where people got to break out of prison. That don't make any sense. It's illogical. You only break out of prison one time. And you better not be seen again. And a whole bunch of these other things that we have to see in our day-to-day -day lives. I don't care what your sexual orientation is. That's your business. I don't think we should be advertising for it or teaching it in any school. I'm tired of seeing homosexuality everywhere. Because it's cool. It's cool. It should be cool for everybody to have an education. If you ain't making that cool, society's not making it cool for these kids to look good if they have a brain in their head. But instead, they want little girls to fall in love with vampires, a mythological creature and shit. You got all these kids wanting to be like Harry Potter. Come on, another mythological type of scene jumping off. Come on, where's the reality? The reality is all that black stuff you see. Brothers and sisters in the hood shooting at each other. It may be like that, but it ain't like that for everyone black. And not every white person lives in a trailer park and does methamphetamine. I can keep on going on and on and on and on about what people are or what people are supposed to be based on what is seen. And none of us are human. None of us are humane. And none of us respect each other. Is that true? Is it? Because if it ain't the truth, somebody needs to set up set up with both their hands in the air and say, no, it's not true. Is every stereotype we see about each other true? And if there is any truth to it, let's eliminate that part of the truth. You've been tubed.